don't wish bad upon your husband or your wife or your father or your mother or your sister or your brother. You don't wish bad upon them. You don't say things like, Allah will ask you about this. <laughs> you don't say that. You don't say that. Do you know that Rasulullah Sallallahu told us, إِنَّهُ مَنْ سُئِلَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَقَدْ هَلَكَ The guy who, the person who gets asked even one question on Judgment Day has been destroyed. You're that angry at your wife? You're that angry at your husband? That you wish that Allah interrogates them on Judgment Day? Do you know how serious that is? Let me give you some idea of what you're wishing for. You have just had a fight with your wife. If the police showed up at your door, and they put handcuffs on your wife. You'd be okay with that? Like, that that's what you deserve. When you were sleeping when I came for dinner, and you didn't wake up, you shoot me off? This, this is why this is happening to you. That's what you deserve. Would you do that? No. You would forget the fight. Like, don't touch my wife, man. What are you doing? The fight would disappear, wouldn't it? It would disappear. You just had the, you know, there's some families, you know, you live in the apartment next door to your brother. So you and your wife and your kids live in this apartment. Your brother and his wife, his kids live in the next apartment. And of course, there's going to be drama. The wives don't get along, the kids, your kids ate our food, and whatever. They came and leave, left a mess, or they broke our PlayStation controller, or something. And there's a fight between the two brothers. The whole family is like, ah, it's crazy. It just went crazy. And of course the women had nothing to do with the fight. <laughs> nothing at all. Absolutely. Okay. Now they're having this terrible fight, but there's a fire in the apartment building. Ma'adullah. There's a fire in the apartment building. It's two in the morning. You wake up, you get your wife and your kids, you get out. But before you get out, you look at his door and you say, They broke our PlayStation controller. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do that? Would you knock on his door? Would you wake him up? Even if you had a fight, would you wake him up still? Yeah. Because when there's a state of emergency, you forget about all the fighting. You forget about the... Because all those things become little, pathetic, meaningless. You would even forget about the fight, because it's a big emergency right now. You understand that? Judgment Day is the biggest emergency humanity will ever see. There's no bigger emergency than Judgment Day. You don't wish upon your husband, or your wife, or your children. Allah will ask you on Yom Al-Qiyama. You don't do that. You don't do that. That means you don't love them at all. That means you wish the worst situation falls upon them. That just means you don't care about them at all. You don't even wish that on non-Muslims. You don't even wish that on the average non-Muslim walking down the street. That they should burn in hell. That's not the attitude of a Muslim. How can you wish that on your own family? So don't make light of the things you say. Be careful about the things you say and the things you think.